Jab, jab, right hand, left hand down to the body. Perfect. It's pretty classy at the end, too, I thought, what he said about Gonzalez, you know, after everything built up to the fight. Yeah, that was that was cool. You know, that just goes to show you that he don't have no animosity towards them, man. Because them got animosity towards him. So, hey, that was that was cool that he did that. You, we saw him here tonight, the 22, win the first title. Ultimately, where do you think this young man? Oh, man, he's gonna end up. up. He's gonna end up in, in Hall of Fame, one of the best boxers ever. I guarantee. You, if he keep this route that he's on right now, I guarantee you that. So you'll get up to the level of a Terrence Crawford, something like that. Yeah. Yep, yep, sure will. What what makes Shakur uh, you know distinguishable from a Terrence Crawford or Andre Ward or Floyd? Because he's a, he's a different generation. He's a different generation. He might be in the same generation as those guys was you know, towards Andre's career to, in the middle of Terrence's career. But wait till those guys is gone. Shakur is still going to be there. You know what I'm saying? He's a different generation. Can I ask you a question? Um, how many more years Terrence got on the contract? We're, We're not talking, talking about that. We're not talking about that. And about Shakur, I know the, the top rank ways, they like to get guys homecoming bouts after they win a title. I don't know if you've heard yet, but you think he'll probably have a, a Newark fight in the near future? Uh, like like he said, man, he will Josh Warrington. He won multiple titles. So wherever that's going to fight, going to land at, hopefully it land in, in uh, where he's from, Brick City, and uh, they can have a homecoming fight. And, and Bomac, man, I mean, Realistically, the fight would never happen. But how would you see it if Shakur right now had to take on a Gary Russell? Who would you lean towards in that? Uh, that'd be a good, uh, tough, good, tough fight for him. But uh, Shakur, I've never seen him not rise to the occasion. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, I haven't actually ever watched Gary Russell. Maybe once or twice as an amateur, but I've never watched him as a professional. Uh, but it's, it'd be a good fight for the both of them. And Warrington's had a few. Pretty big wins in the last year and a half or two. What do you um, what do you think how that fight will play? When we gonna start the book, man? You said multiple champions. My writing skills even better to deserve a ball match. See, now you're trying to get out the fucking job. I already had hundred thousand put away for you. Oh, uh oh, <laughs> fucking up. Let's do that book deal. You fired him up. All right. Thank you, Bowman. All right. Thank God. Now, we'll see. I, I fight it with um, Warrington, who's had a few good wins of his own. What do you? How do you think that would play I think, out? I think uh, Shakur dominating him again, dominating just like he did the performance tonight. Uh, I don't. I can't see nobody beating Shakur right now. How much has Shakur improved since he sparred with Terrence back in the day? I mean, he's always improved. I mean, it's, you know, with his hand speed, you know, how to stay in the pocket now. Not so much movement, stepping around, combinations, catch and release. All that. He's really improved. My last question, how high do you think he can go? He's still a young 22-year-old oh, kid. Can, man, some guys quit when they're 33, 34, 35. I believe that Shakur you know, stay undefeated up until then. You think, I, I mean, how I can wait? You think he can get up to, like, uh, lightweight? Probably, probably 140, super. probably the biggest he can get, mm -hmm. you know. I think so. Right now, within the next four or five years, 140. All right, thank you very much. And yeah. have you started Terrence Crawford's camp for me, Machine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We started, uh, actually, we started weeks ago. You know, we just now getting to Colorado Springs. Well, he's just now getting to Colorado Springs um, uh, a week and a half ago. Well, about two weeks, you know. Actually, but in about three weeks because he, he, he'll come and leave and come and leave. But we're finishing up uh, Herring's camp.